alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans, for our main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action between these two great warriors. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Teddy, you just look at the physical stature of these two guys, and it's clear to see one fighter is much stronger than the other. But if you're the fighter who's not as strong, you still got to go out there and win the fight. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you yell at your manager for making this fight. <laughs> and then the second thing you do is you make sure that you have good shoes on, good track shoes, and you use them. Good job protecting himself. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Solid right hands headline that exchange. Wow, look at that training shots. Able to dismiss it. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. It is a seesaw battle early on here. Amazing stuff out of these two. And he scores with a three-punch combo. Multiple punches coming in now. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Landing two jabs by Tucker. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That uppercut absolutely rocked up. But I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Good job staying away from the danger there. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Good block there by Buster. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. And clicks of the tox. And a smart counter punch by Tucker. As we come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for? Because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Good defensive skill with the block by Tucker. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Good block by Tucker. Good 
Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. A headshot blocked. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocks away that headshot. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. Very nice defensive guard there. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Thunder. Oh, what a great ability to recover. Holy cow. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Come on now, work it out. Able to counter that attack. Teddy, he went from being on the edge of the cliff to now climbing back up the mountain. Well, you know, that's where you'd want to know if a guy recovers fast. Obviously, he has the capacity to recover very quickly. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. And they come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. And boy, oh boy, are they putting on a show tonight here. Well, kind of what you expected. These styles kind of told you that this is what you were going to get. A headshot block. Took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. And a well-placed counter by Tucker. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Combination to the head. Halfway through this round here. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Showing you some defense there with the block. Double jab by Tucker. Parries that punch intended for the head. Wow, is he defensively sound. Well placed counter punch by Tucker. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Blocks away that headshot. 
Last 10 seconds of round number three. Oh, and there you go. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it does depend on each guy. No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fight the guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Tucker's got to deal with a cut sheet. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A nice block by Buster. by Tucker. That's a good block by Buster. Tucker's got a way of just getting away from that punch. He's just not concentrating on the body as a target here, Teddy. No, and, you know, you wouldn't mind if he didn't have to. In other words, it all depends on the scenario. This scenario says that he should be going to the body, and he should recognize that. And that's part of the talent of a fighter, recognition, that you have to recognize where the opportunities are. He scored well after being hit himself. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. On, Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Good looking counter punch. Seconds remaining in this round. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Tucker is doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Well, if ever you wanted to explain to somebody the benefits of distance while fighting, this is a perfect example by what we're seeing out of him on the outside. Well, you know, so many times I see tall guys, and what the heck's the sense of being tall if you don't know how to fight tall? He knows how. Good-looking counterpunch. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Decide to bring it. Tucker.
Rucker's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. And then he's letting the punches go, letting the hand follow. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> start dialing. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Good double jab by Tucker. Carries that punch intended for the head. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. We come to the end of this round Teddy, a round in which maybe a lot of trainers don't like to see Because it was a very busy round for both guys Well, it depends what kind of style, what kind of strength your fighter has Or even what kind of weaknesses If I had a guy who likes to box, who likes to counterpunch I want a guy coming at him Not with a lot of TNT in his gloves But coming forward where my guy is well suited He can pick him off a little bit A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. But he gave some back with the right hand. Come on, side to side. And a well-placed counter by Buster. Tucker's staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Tucker's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Targeted by Tucker. Tucker's in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like his football going to that three-fat defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. Tucker's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Ten seconds to go in this round. Use your feet. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Tucker. 
I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good block by Tucker. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep working the body. Well placed counter punch by Tucker. Boy, you gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not gonna move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope that you wrap them real good because you're banging that nugget all night long. Walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. They are bringing out the best in each other. I mean, you can just tell. When they meet up in the middle of this ring, they're bringing out the best in each other. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Well placed counter punch by Tucker. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Tucker's proving here that you can't hit what you can't reach. See the movement he's putting through. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. This round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have the motors that never stop going. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. <laughs> Takes one but gives one. Good work by Thunder. Block there by Tucker. <laughs> Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Counterpunch by Tucker. Tucker's out at longer range. He's staying away from some danger spots defensively. Well, he knows he has an opponent who has to be set to punch and who's very dangerous in those spots. So he's doing what he should be doing. 
keeping them off balance, giving them angles. Fighting a smart fight. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Thunder. A little defense turns to offense by Tucker. A minute to go in what has been a memorable round. Great stuff from these two. Get your hands up. Your hands. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good job staying away from the danger there. other the exchange was something special <laughs> able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut <laughs> Well put together combination by Tucker. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Good return fire that time. Good block there by Buster. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. well after being hit himself good job protecting himself great fight I mean just a great fight both guys giving their all back and forth it doesn't get much better Targeted by Tucker. Locks away that headshot. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. Place counter punch by Buster. Listen, he's still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he could score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And as long as you haven't given up on yourself, you always have a chance where one punch can separate that guy from his consciousness. Come to the end of the round. Always interesting to see how things will play out in our fights. Teddy, it's always great anticipation when we come sit ringside in the buildup of what's going to happen. Yeah, it is. And it's always great having a little electricity in the crowd. You know, it helps. I know it helps me with the broadcast to know that you have these passionate fans that are around. That was a miss by Tucker. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far. On 
the mark. The counter punch by Buster. Nice block. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. <laughs> Punch. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Thunder. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Blocks away that headshot. Able to dismiss that body shot. A crushing two-punch combo by Tucker. A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. 
halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. about this guy now good enjoyable entertaining fight it was for teddy atlas i'm joe tessator saying thanks for being with us